Love it. Awesome. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> pledge for the do something campaign from jack.org that's why I'm wearing this t-shirt it says this is what a mental health advocate looks like and it's for their uh, do something campaign raising awareness for suicides in young people in Canada it is the leading cause of health related death in Canada for young people in response to that they're doing this campaign where they're getting lots of people over social media to uh, quote, do something to, to help combat that and help uh, help with mental health. So what I'm doing, creating art every day, uh, opting for positivity and creativity in your own day-to-day -day work. I know you might not always feel great. I definitely don't always feel great. I still like to put my first foot forward and try to be creative and positive. Creating art is a way of self-expression. You know, your inner feelings, are, whether you're looking at art or you're creating art, I think it does uh, promote you know, positive uh, mental health. That's my pledge to every day put art out there in the world in one way or another to communicate the general message of, of positivity and for you to never give up and believe in yourself because everyone is a unique snowflake. You've got something very special to share with the world and good energy. It'll all come full circle. That's the reason for the gloves is that it's work. It's work to maintain that every day this, this mind state of caring for yourself, caring about your mental health and helping other people because you know they might not re reach out for help. You know, be kind and think of others. Encourage them to do something creative. Go look at some art, or make some art, or make a mess, or make a mistake, and let that be okay. Okay, I have a few questions here. I'm gonna answer. First question is: Do you think art reflects your mood at the time you make it? And if so, is it a good thing? Can art reflect my mood. It usually changes my mood. I could be feeling really positive and then I do a piece of art and it doesn't uh, turn out well and then I feel negative or vice versa. It could be feeling not so hot and I do a piece of art and then it turns out well and it, it cheers me up. Or it could be like, in line. I could be feeling and, uh, and then I make a piece of art or I could be feeling good and I make a good piece of art. So there is no, uh, there is no real rule about it. Generally, art is uplifting kind of experience of creating things. Thankful that I'm in a position in my life where I can do that. You know, go to the studio and, and make a mess or make something beautiful or make something ugly or just make something in general. So it does bring joy to my life and I try to infuse my work with that joy to share with others. That sort of is the answer to that question. Next question we have here, is there a particular intent behind my pieces? So this is a little bit of a tricky answer. There is an intent. It's also, I rely on my audience to fill the void, you know, to, to fulfill the meaning in the work. So I, I like to keep it um, a little bit ambiguous in, as to what the work is about because it's abstract and I want people to um, to interpret the work uh, in their own way and I don't want to limit their experience by by tarnishing it or prescribing it with too much of my own so I try to keep it open I generally want to also set up the parameters for people to feel how they're gonna feel and I don't presume to know how somebody else feels so that's why I like to keep it open but I do kind of want to opt for positivity and inspiration uh, in my work and I think there's something about the natural kind of movement and the chaotic nature of the pursuit of beautiful compositions or color is with the intent of inspiring inspiring people with some inspiration into their day-to-day -day life aspects of the work are naturally occurring like I step back I step away from the process and it's like more automated and it's like a naturally occurring thing there's a flow I hope upon viewing the work people can infer that and take that into their own life. By infusing it with that flow, it somehow stays there within the abstract image and then people can view it and upon viewing it, they can have their own kind of experience and bring that into their into their life somehow. And, and it means different things to other people. So I, I really don't want to be too prescriptive about what it means. So it's, it, I, I do like to keep it open so that people can take it in their own direction and feel what they need to feel. I want to encourage them to, to explore that for themselves. Explore what it means to listen to your, to your own, to yourself viewing a, an artwork. Because if I say, you know, this is a butterfly 
you know, if I say that that's a butterfly and you look at it and then all you're going to be able to see is butterfly. But if I kept the name more ambiguous, I don't describe what it is, then you, you will project your own meaning onto it and have your own unique experience. And I really want my viewers of my work to have that authentic experience. Um, so, so in that way, it's like a double-edged sword where I, I want to I want to steer you in a direction of positivity and, and, and inspiration, but I also don't necessarily want to send you like there because that might not be where you need to go. Maybe you need to go somewhere else, and there's different paths and different you know different experiences for everyone. So uh, I, I do like to keep keep it open in terms of intent and my intents in in, in, in the work. Last question here is, how long have you been doing this? I've been doing the spin painting for eight years now. In the same rig, the same spin machine set up right here. Arts University, I went to OCAD, Etobicoke School of the Arts for high school. I've always been doing art my entire life. It's only in the last eight years which I've kind of discovered this particular uh, avenue of creation, but I've always been doing art in one way or another, whether it was sculpture or illustration, installation, and all sorts of crazy different projects. I've just found my voice uh, with the spin painting, so that's why I've like been focusing on it recently. Okay, so if you submitted questions, thank you very much. If you have other questions that you would like me to answer, please submit them. If you have any advice on to how to improve these vlogs, I'm always open and receptive to that. I'm just about to get to, to some painting. Uh, hit that like button, subscribe, check me out on these other platforms, Instagram, Facebook, catch you uh, next time.